about the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor is it visible this slide to everyone is this visible yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. okay so let's start the instruction set so in 8086 microprocessor, the instruction sets are classified into these nine categories, uh, like the data transfer instructions, arithmetic instructions, logical instructions, branching instructions, loop instructions, uh, shift or rotate instructions, machine control instructions, flag manipulation instructions, and the uh, string instructions. Okay. Now I will discuss uh, one by one the categories of 8086 instruction. So first of all, the data transfer instruction or it's called the data copy instruction, data copy or data transfer instruction. Okay, so the transfer of data uh, can be implemented between any uh, memory to any register or any uh, internal register to memory or one register to another register means internal uh, or input port to the internal register or uh, internal register to the output port. Uh, that is the, for the external to internal so memories and the io devices are external but the registers are inside the processor uh, which is completely internal okay now there are several types of data transfers uh, data transfer instructions are available like uh, move instruction is there push pop exchange uh, x x lat the conversion uh, in out load effective address load uh, data segment uh, so this type of instructions are available now uh, this is the very important or major instruction more important instruction among all, all these uh, data transfer instruction move so because uh, here you can you can uh, move the content from anywhere from the internal to in, internal to external or external to internal using move instruction and uh, now to load any 8 bit of data you need to use move instruction to load any 16 bit of data you need to use the move instruction so there is no mvi related instructions uh, all the instructions for both or 8 bit and for uh, 16 bit or uh, if any immediate uh, type of 8-bit immediate or 16-bit immediate uh, data is available you need to transfer the content from one portion to another portion or you need to use the move instruction MOV so there is no MVI related instruction in 8086 microprocessor uh, now the general form to write this uh, move instruction is move move destination comma the source destination comma source the so first register first register which is initialized into your instruction that is the destination part but the result will be stored means if you want to move something uh, from one portion to another portion so the first register or the first initialization or uh, the thing that is you have to write it here that will be your destination part like as for example move bx comma 00f2 now 00F2, it is an immediate data. Now that immediate data should be uh, transferred to BX register. It's a 16-bit of data. That's why you need 16-bit uh, register. 
Okay. Now uh, the next one is move CL comma within bracket 2000 H. So now this 2000 H actually this is a memory location where some 8 bit of data is stored. Now that 8 bit of data uh, should be transferred uh, from this memory location to CL register. Now, if you have used the content as 8 bit, you need to use the 8 bit register. If the content is your 16 bit, then you need to use the 16 bit register. So, both the uh, destination and the source size must be same. Uh, if the source uh, is your 8 bit, then you need to use the destination part uh, as your 8 bit register. And if the source is your 16 bit, your destination part must be 16 bit in size. So, both will be same not the different and for the next uh, instruction which is uh, writing the uh, as move within bracket it is called 589h comma uh, bx what does it mean it's a 16 bit content means the bx register it is used to hold that uh, the it is used to hold this 16 bit content as uh, the VX register actually can hold the memory address. Now that memory address, in that memory address, one uh, data can be there. Now to load any 16-bit data, you need uh, you need to use two consecutive memory location. Okay, so um, you need to store that 16-bit content into this memory location. So how this memory location can be used to store that 16-bit content? Uh, by using two consecutive memory locations. Okay, so 589 and uh, uh, 58A. So these are the two uh, memory locations where the 16 bit will be moved. And then move DS comma CX means the uh, move the content from CX to DX uh, DS, uh, which is this is your uh, this is your general register, and uh, the content of that general register should be stored inside the segment. Uh, register so that content should be used in uh, as your segment address segment address yeah uh, then the next instruction is uh, push instruction now the push instruction already all of you know about the push uh, how stack is operated how stack is operated now push instructions or pop instructions can be used to operate the stack uh, what is stack it is a group of memory location in ram where you can you can you can uh, store some data byte for temporary purpose okay now how this uh, uh, so uh, to access the stack you need a uh, segment register or segment address and the offset address now in case of stack operation which uh, register can be used as your segment register and which register can be used as your offset register now the segment register is your uh, stack segment ss and uh, the offset register can be used as either sp that is the stack pointer or it is uh, a base pointer stack pointer or base pointer any register can be used here yeah. now it based on your uh, addressing modes it based on your addressing modes uh, either sp can be used or bp can be used now every time so uh, stack uh, pointer what is the uh, use of that stack pointer it is a offset register which will be incremented or decremented according to the um, operation now stack segment it holds certain address assume uh, look at this diagram uh, suppose i have used push ax so i want to uh, store the content of AX onto the stack. Okay, so the content of AX, which is 16 bit in size, so it can be uh, used as your AH and AL. Suppose AH contains uh, 55, AL contains 22. Now I need to uh, store these two contents into two consecutive memory locations on stack. So my stack uh, segment is initialized as 2000. And if stack pointer is initialized as F, 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 the last uh, location of your uh, segment within the stack segment. So what will be the physical address? This will be 2, F, 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 F. Yeah? If stack segment is 2000 and stack pointer is F, 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 then what will be the physical address? This will be, physical address will be 2, 
if 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 so that is the top of the stack memory location but that memory location cannot be used to store any type of data so uh, before this uh, memory location so the memory location will be decremented by one if you if i want to store or push some data byte onto the stack clear yeah? so if push instruction is used uh, when it is executed by the processor first the stack pointer is decremented by one so your uh, stack pointer is uh, located this memory location to fffff if it is decremented by one the memory location will be to ffffe and in this position the content of higher uh, 8 bit that is ah content of ah will be stored then again it is decremented by one and the content of lower 8 bit that is from the al will be stored okay so two consecutive memory locations are uh, occupied by this uh, push instruction clear yeah? uh, if you want to push another register content suppose push bx and bx contains 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 is stored in bh and 3 uh, 4 is uh, stored in bl so if push bx is used after the execution of this uh, thing 2 fffd will be decremented by 1 so that uh, this will be 2 fffc and the content of bh will be stored and then again the con uh, this uh, stack memory location will be decremented by 1 so uh, this will be 2 fffb and the content of bl must be stored okay so that is the push operation now uh, for pop operation what is stored last that will be processed first what is stored last that that will be processed first so if you want to pop something or pop the data byte now in this case look at this diagram in in this case pop something so you need to uh, first increment the content of register uh, means the stack memory location by 1 and the lower 8 bit from that corresponding memory location uh, and the lower 8 bit content will be stored in uh, into the specified register which is used as your uh, in your instruction like pop ax okay so uh, suppose the last data byte which is stored into the uh, onto the stack which is 22 and uh, 55 clear now the 20 uh, so when i would like to pop the data byte from this memory location so this memory location will be decrement uh, incremented by 1 because it is already uh, happened so now my stack memory location is pointing here in this position so 2 ffe so when pop instruction is executed now the memory location will be incremented by 1 okay so my uh, this one is 2 ffc so if it is incremented by 1 this will be 2 fffd and the content from that memory location uh, should be stored inside the specified register which is in Uh, lower 8 bit of the uh, specified register and again this will be memory location will be incremented by 1 which is 2 fffe and this will be stored in uh, into the specified register okay so in this way pop instruction can be executed clear so uh, clear up to this much Move, push pop uh, sir i have one doubt yes uh sir can you explain the pop instruction uh, once more you said that the uh, stack pointer will be at 2 fffc yes. but i am not understanding why it will be at 2 fffc and not fffd okay because when it is uh, decremented uh, when it is something is pushed onto the stack so when the last uh, uh, data byte is stored inside the stack like in this case in push instruction here here so when everything is stored inside or onto the stack 22 after this one after this one if you want to store something that is into the a uh, to ffc so actually it points the upper or top of the stack memory location here yeah? so it is in that position not it is executed or not it is used at that time but it points that memory location here yeah? so when that initially yes. uh, sir initially it was at to ffff hmm. 
first it was decremented and then the uh, content, uh, content was B. pushed uh, push then again it is decremented and content of al will be pushed sir i am not able to listen actually okay the content of content of a will be pushed first by decrementing the stack pointer memory location which is 2f f f e and then again it is decremented by one which is 2f f f d and uh, the content of a will be pushed onto the stack is it okay okay then uh, then again it will be decremented by a uh, one no it is not decremented by one actually it is pointing such memory location which is 2f f f c now if anything you want to store it again if you want to push it or put some uh, data byte suppose push bx then this will be decremented it is pointing that memory location so it is decremented in this way so the next data byte will be stack or uh, will be entered onto the stack it is not used uh, but it is currently mentioning the top of the stack is available Okay, it is sir. not it is not used okay. sir, sir. it is just point that, that means you can store something after this the uh, 2f f f d means before this memory location which is c which is b these are available for your stack operation okay, sir bolte that means the first first the data byte is pushed and then the address is decremented by one no first is uh, address is decremented then data byte is pushed Uh, because because initially what i have initialized that my stack segment is to 2000 and my stack pointer is fffff clear is it clear so uh, it when Sorry. the physical address is generated actually it points this memory location to fffff but that memory location cannot be used to store something because it is the initialization location so now if uh, push instruction is executed by the processor first this will be decremented by one so your memory location will be 2 f f f e then push the content from a h to that memory location and at the same time again it is decremented by one so that the memory location of your stack uh, will be 2 f f f d and the content of a l will be entered <coughs> onto the stack Is it clear? Okay, so sir. That, that means in case of popping, the uh, stack pointer is pointing at two FFFD only. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, any anything else? Sir, can you open the fast light once? Okay, I have a doubt from fast light. Sir, I have a fast light. I have a fast light. Can you open it? I have a doubt. Move. Ah, yes. Yes. Sir. Oh, sir, 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 second side. Yes. Sir, in the third the third instruction, move five eighty nine h comma bx. Sir, here the content of bx is stored uh, at five eighty nine at this location. Then. Sir, sir, then uh, we need to first calculate the um, uh, physical address using five eighty nine as as our yeah. offset register. Sir. Then we need to move the content from BX to that memory BX, location, right? BX plus displacement, which is five eight nine. Hello, hello. Ah, sir, balloon. Ah, so your physical address will be data segment means DS into ten hmm. plus BX. Plus five eighty nine. The tau le the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le means zero five eighty nine. Actually, the tau le if this uh, instruction is calculated so suppose this instruction is stored inside the segment uh, address a code segment because every instruction must be written inside the code segment 
Okay, but your value that is stored inside the data segment because data segment is to store the data only. Okay, code segment it is used to store the code only. Oh. Clear. So in this way, this move instruction is written in IP of said address. But when the uh, anything you need to move, you need to move it into uh, from the data segment as your segment address, and uh, the offset address must be calculated in this way uh, because BX can uh, store the offset address. So your offset address should be uh, suppose two thousand. Okay. Hello. Okay, sir. Ah, you hear it? Yes, sir. So your offset address should be uh, suppose uh, assume BX is uh, two thousand. Okay, the DS data segment n to ten plus BX. What is your offset address plus uh, this address which is given in uh, within this packet? Okay, sir. Okay, so it goes to that segment offset address. Okay, sir. Okay. So later it will be cleared when uh, some some example or the programming uh, will be considered. Okay, there are lots of instructions okay. written in this way. Uh, there may be some confusion. It will be explained later. So the next instruction is uh, uh, so let's start the next uh, next uh, instructions under data transfer or data copy. Why it is called the data copy? Because it is copied from one position to another position. Just in uh, same case, it was happened in eight zero eight five. Okay, so if you want to transfer something from source to destination, that doesn't mean that source uh, uh, data is modified or it is erased or it is lost. No, the source data will be same as uh, as the destination. Okay, that's why it is called the data copy or data transfer. Is it clear? So the in and out instruction. So uh, can you uh, tell me in and out why these two instructions are used? What is the use of these instructions? What is the use of this instruction in and out? So in and out basically these are used to uh, read some input data from the input device which is external to the processor and out instruction is used to give some uh, result to the output display using the out instruction which is your the uh, which is external to the microprocessor so something is stored inside suppose uh, in ax register and if you want to display that content on some uh, output device you need to use the out instruction but in both cases in and out is used in your 8086 microprocessor that can be processed using only only dx register only dx register okay so dx register actually holds the port address of any input device or output device yeah port address port addresses means device addresses now if there is no device addresses nothing can be read from the input device or nothing can be written into the output device so each input device and output device uh, is identified by the processor as the device address is as your device address or port address now that port address should be initialized one and only using dx register no other register can be used in 8086 microprocessor to initialize the port addresses okay you can't use ax you can't use bxcx only dx can be used for the port address so first you need to store the port address then what is to be given to that port address or what is to be uh, read from that port address you can use the instruction in that way okay like in uh, here for example in l comma 0f8 so it is a direct method like from uh, this memory location your input uh, data can be read and it is stored inside it is stored inside a register okay like move dx comma 30f8 now this is your port address uh, which is 30f8 and suppose here some data byte uh, some some input device uh, one input device is attached like led what is the status of that led should be uh, stored inside al so in that case you need to use these two consecutive instructions first you need to initialize the port address where the led is connected and then from that port address the uh, the status must be uh, loaded inside al Okay. So in this case, like you can't write move cx comma three zero f eight in l comma cx. No, it is wrong. 
okay because port address always uh, initialized by the dx register only by the dx register okay remember always so uh, in ax comma dx also uh, like uh, what is the content um, or the status which is specified by the port address input port address that will be transferred to the ax register or out 047 al means what is the content in accumulator lower 8 bit register that must be given to the output device uh, whose port address is 0047 clear yeah. or it is given as move dx comma 30f8 now if 3048 as uh, output Uh, device address and uh, the content from inside register from AL it goes to the corresponding device address port address so that can be display or a, 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 any by any uh, means it can be uh, given as your output clear now the exchange instructions are here also now to exchange some data byte with any register to register register to memory location can be uh, exchanged using these two instructions and the general format is given to this instruct right uh, this instruction is exchanged destination from a source so your first register must be always your destination part okay so your source and destination must be exchanged with each other so suppose uh, cx contains 1000 and vx contains 2000 and if you want to exchange both of these contain then you need to use a x c a g b x comma c a so the contents of b x and c a should be each other and uh, suppose this one is your memory location which is given by sum sum that is the displacement so was one this is considered as sum and i have given a name okay sum so your uh, physical address will be obviously the d s into uh, d s into 10 plus sum plus d x the the content the content must be changed from that memory location to ax and ax must be uh, stored uh, content from ax must be stored or exchanged with the uh, corresponding memory location okay yeah? so that is the function of xcag or x instruction the next instruction type is arithmetic instruction arithmetic instruction add is there subtract is there multiplication is there division is there uh but uh, in case of microprocessor uh, i use its five microprocessor uh, there is uh, there was no multiplication instruction or division instruction okay but in 8086 there is split mul multiplication instruction and division instruction but there are certain rules you have to follow that uh, not every register can be used to store the result or can be used as your multiplicand or uh, dividend or divisor to store it okay so there is a there are fixed registers which can be used to store the multiplication or in case of division uh, the register should be used as your dividend part or the divisor part okay and the specific register uh, uh, use specific registers are used to store the addition value and the remainder value division so uh, but uh, but multiplication and division can be performed using uh, those straight instruction using multiplication and division So for add instruction, uh, how many types of instructions can be available? Like add al comma zero f. So add the immediate data zero f to the al, and the result will be stored inside al. Okay. Now one thing you have to remember that it is not a, in case of eight zero eight six microprocessor. Uh, that is the operations are not accumulator oriented operations. Arithmetic and logical operations are not. Uh, accumulator oriented operation so any any register can be used uh, in spite of uh, accumulator like you can you can use add uh, bl comma 0f also that means the content of bl and the content uh, which is 0f must be added together and the result will be stored inside bl uh, you can use cl also like add bx comma bx uh, you can write it as add add bx comma cx also cx comma dx anything so it uh, whatever you have used in your destination register uh, by default the result must be stored inside that register okay if it is ax then the result will be stored into ax if it is bx the result will be stored into bx so the first uh, register must be treated as your destination part and the second is your uh, source part clear yeah. okay the next is the add ax comma 01 that is for 8 bit and this is for 16 bit uh, addition purpose the same for add ax comma bx 
uh, at ax comma si any memory location content must be added to the ax directly uh, using the source index uh, that is the index under index addressing mode and here the direct memory location can be given uh, like 5000 is your memory location where some data byte is present and that data byte uh, should be added to the x register the two consecutive memory locations can be used in this case because the x register is your 16 bit register so your 16 bit content will be added to the 16 bit content 5000 and 5001 the content of these two memory locations will be added to uh, x register and the result will be stored inside x register okay so in this way different add instructions is available uh, for subtraction uh, for adc also uh, adc means add with carry add with carry the uh, corresponding two uh, two uh, like adc adc ax comma bx what is the function of ax comma uh, adc ax comma bx addition between the content of ax the content of bx and the is uh, and the uh, previous carry flag bit okay bit status whether it is one that will be added or if it is zero so zero will be added to uh, the uh, current addition so ax plus bx plus the previous carry bit must be added and uh, the result must be stored inside uh, ax register here result must be stored inside ax register uh, so in this way you can write it as adc uh, ax comma bx adc ax comma within si ax comma direct memory location so this uh, add with carry the differences of adc instructions are available Sub instruction is same uh, like sub l comma zero f so z uh, from l so um, here uh, destination is destination from the destination point the zero must be uh, the source must be subtracted and the result must be stored inside the a register so l minus zero f here sub l comma zero f means l minus zero f and the result will be stored inside l and sub ax comma bx means ax minus bx ax minus bx and the result will be stored inside the destination the source must be subtracted from the destination okay so one thing is common for addition and subtraction always source must be added to the uh, destination and source must be subtracted from the destination in case of subtraction clear so different subtraction instructions are available then subtract with borrow is there the same thing like adc it can be used for uh, sbb subtract with borrow uh, next instruction is the compare instruction which is very very important compare instruction means if you need to compare um, to uh, operand and the source okay so destination operand and the source operand can be compared together and uh, basically compare instruction is a one type of subtraction but what is the difference between subtraction and com uh, compare instruction in case of comparison uh, compare instruction execution there will be no generation of result only only three conditions will be generated and uh, based on these three conditions like if destination is greater than if, if destination is like source is greater than destination that means there must be carry if source is equi equal to so carry flag will be in that case uh, will be set but zero flag will be reset but if source and destination both are equal then zero flag must be uh, set but uh, your carry flag should be reset and if your your source operand is is uh, the less than the destination operand part then uh, there will be no carry flag and there will be no zero flag okay and that compare instruction should be executed using any one of these instructions like tmp bx comma 0100 so here uh, bx that is the destination part and that is the source part always this uh, this this source must be subtracted from the destination and if the if source is less than destination then there will be no carry if source is greater than destination there will be carry if source is equal, uh, is uh, equal to the destination there will be uh, zero there will be no carry clear so these are the different compare instructions now coming to the logical instructions logical instruction and instruction is available uh, like and cx uh, comma ax means uh, and operation between the content of cx and ax and the result must be stored inside cx and b and bl comma l means the content of bl can be ended with uh, l and the result must be stored inside um, 
A uh, in, inside BL. Clear. So in this way you can write it, or 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 you can use directly like and CL comma zero eight. Here zero eight must be ended with the CL, and this is your destination. All these are your destination uh, registers where the result must be stored automatically after performing such operation. Uh, next is the or. The same thing, or BL comma AL, or operation between BL and AL, and the uh, result must be stored inside BL, uh, or CX comma AX, both are uh, odd, and the result must be stored inside CX. Directly, uh, data byte can be odd with uh, the op destination register, and the uh, and the and the result will be stored inside destination. Okay. Uh, for not instruction also, not AX, not AX. <coughs> not x so x must be complemented and the result must be stored inside x yeah. and zor operation is available zor ax comma 0098 the same thing zor operation between the content of this x and the 0098 and the result will be stored into x yeah. okay another another you can write down do you have pen uh, with you pen and paper so you can write down another instruction i have not included into this slide that is the negate n e g n e g n e g capital N E G negate N E G G A T E negate negate means to perform the two's complement uh, directly of any content. Okay. Any content can be uh, two's complement for. So to perform uh, two's complement, you don't need to increment the content of uh, uh, complemented accumulator content directly. You can load in in some register and perform the uh, uh, use this instruction as NEG, and if you have used this NEG, uh, already the accumulator content must be uh, converted into two's complement form, and and that will be stored inside that register. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, until this much clear, everyone. Any confusion? Up to this much clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. So uh, only one minute is remaining to end this meeting. So when this meeting is ended, you can uh, you can click on the same link, same link, and you can join the next meeting. Okay. Same link can be used to join the next meeting. Means this this video has some links I have given to you. To your uh, Google Classroom, you have to go to the Google Classroom and use the same link. Okay. I will not send any another link for next meeting. Okay. So after five minutes, uh, we will come back uh, to start the next session and uh, the branching instructions, all other instructions will be discussed on that session. Okay. So, okay. So see you again on the next session after five minutes. Okay, so I will end this meeting and uh, join on the next after five minutes.